What is going on everybody? Welcome for the first time or back to another DLJ Works video. And today what I want to actually share with the wonderful world is that here on LinkedIn, I passed a programming test. So what does that actually mean? I passed a programming test. What relevance does this hold? And is this relevant to my actual career in the web design development spectrum? Well, I, for one, find it to be very beneficial, though I, I cannot speak on how beneficial that is going to be yet. I just passed this about a week ago, but I decided, hey, let me go ahead and post a video about this. And maybe somebody out there on the Internet webs, if I said that correctly, I'm not really sure, may have actually can share in this same experience that I'm about to have. So what we're going to do first, we're going to go ahead and scroll down to the actual profile section. Now, I want to go ahead and preface this by actually saying that I passed my CSS I passed my CSS skill test and let me go ahead and see here all right I'm listed for all types of skills as you can see I'm endorsed for several web development blogging creative writing web design several other things but here we go with CSS when you pass your LinkedIn assessment you get this little badge as they call it little digital certificate little micro icon I got it for CSS and cascading style sheets um, here okay so it's css and then it's actually just spelt out uh cascading style sheet so those two skills now when you actually take these assessments they're only limited at this point to programming languages web development coding languages and standard software languages at this point in time they are not offering any other assessments for creative writing public speaking all these other things that soft skills and not offering them for soft skills okay just in case you're wondering and actually I think writing is a very much so a, a hard technical skill depending on what type of writing you're doing but in any case I just want to go ahead and kind of give y'all a heads up on that let's go ahead and click click on this assessment now there's 15 questions on here so I got 10 out of 5 I got 10 out of the 15 correct I was about to say 10 out of 5 but I got 10 out of 15 correct you have 15 Sec no, I take that back. You have a minute and 15 seconds or something, a minute 30 seconds to answer each question. That means that you have to read the questions really fast. You have to force every bit of knowledge that you have about these languages to the forefront of your mind, and you got to get busy. Like you have to recognize what you're seeing and be able to match those answer choices and have a quick sense of identification. Usually, I'm pretty decent at test taking. I've had the going through traditional school, the public education system, ACT, all those things. You tend to get practice. And, you know, recently I've, I've had to do a lot of practice and with me being a, a public school teacher in Texas, you have to get certified to do those things. And those tests there are very, you have four hours to take the test, but you got to answer like 100, 200 questions. My God, when I was becoming an English teacher, I had to complete 200 multiple choice questions on top of writing an essay in like four hours like how is that even going to be possible so here we are and I just it was really I was really happy I passed this I was like oh my goodness I got me an assessment now I'm hoping that you know a recruiter I'm hoping that this actually just raises the awareness by other recruiters other companies that I'm, I'm very viable. I will bring something to the table. Hey, if this guy could pass the test, he has this, this badge for program. Maybe he is good. Let's check out his website. That it just really the badge is just going to at least uh, put my foot in the door and, and, and get people interested. So I think personally, that's the whole point of the assessment for me right now. It could be more. It could be more. And actually, I just got an, uh, a recruiter to inbox me i actually just got a recruiter to inbox me and i'm going to share that with you guys but i'm not going to i'm gonna blur, blur out the name of the recruiter and all those things so i'm not going to share the name of the recruiter but if i go to my private messaging all right we can see here uh see your web developer hi deshaun blah 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 blah, blah. i'll block out that number blah, blah blah this is who this is i'll block out the company as well but we can see that i actually got an opportunity so um yeah, I don't, but I'm not really sure if that's because they actually saw the, let me go back to view profile. I'm not really sure if it's because they actually saw, you know, looked at my profile and the, the badge popped up. I'm not really sure how that works, but maybe they, maybe they actually saw when they're doing a search, 
these are the people that are actually that took our LinkedIn assessment. These are the people that passed it. These are the people that we have verified in terms of them being skillful at this area. Now, I was able to pass that CSS test, one, by the grace of the good Lord for me. That's, that's my Christian faith coming into act. But then number two, I've been just grinding and doing websites for like, I don't, man, like since 2011, you know, so to be able to pass the test and that, those answer those questions in, in that amount of time, a, a minute, 30 seconds each, and you have to kind of uh, think about how the CSS is going to be placed, structured, all that stuff, and be able to pass it. For me, it's a huge blessing. So I'm, I'm truly grateful. I actually attempted to pass my JavaScript. Now, I don't use a lot of JavaScript. I'm going to be very honest. I'm very intermediate in JavaScript. I'm very, like, still kind of beginnerish, intermediate, but I haven't really had any reason at this point in time in my freelance career and doing web design and development as a second career, teaching is my first. I haven't really had a lot of experience just using JavaScript, but I can read it and I can understand it. If I can, I can see a variable, I can see when functions are created, the, the actual, like, the difference between um, global structures and, and local structures, those sorts of things, I can, I can read, looping, all that. And it's very abstract for me to just kind of explain it here right now and, and to be able to speak on it. But let's just say that if you showed me some JavaScript code, I can actually read it. I haven't had much practice in actually writing it, but if I need to change some JavaScript code, nor exactly where to pinpoint what type of code I need to um, I need to actually change within the JavaScript structure, I can do that. Okay, I can read where variables are created, how those variables are defined what will make something kind of undefined. So I'll just go ahead and just be very honest. I'll actually show you the results from my JavaScript code, I mean course, and I plan on taking it again. They don't let you take it again until three months later. So you have, I have to wait three more months before I could take JavaScript. And maybe but during that time, I'll go ahead and just practice it, brush up on my JavaScript skills so I can actually pass it and maybe create some projects, do some projects with it. But I've only created little small, simple functions for websites such as hover effects, um, taking somebody's information, those sorts of things. I created a dice game. So later on, I'm going to actually do a video in terms of how to actually make a snake game. Just something really basic to showcase my skills using JavaScript to show that I do have some proficiency in using Java. What do I do to go and do that? I go to take skill. Um, so yeah, these are the list of skills here. All the list of quizzes you could take, C Sharp, C++, Git, jQuery, your knowledge on Git, jQuery, JSON. I actually use jQuery quite a bit, all right? Maven, Mongo, DB, Node.js, Objective-C, PHP, Ruby, Ruby on Wells, Wells, Rails, and Swift. So if I go here, if I click on this arrow, all right, it'll tell you you have 15 minutes. You need the 70 percentile required to pass and get a badge, and you can retry in three months if you don't pass. You have to answer 15 to 20 time multiple choice questions, all right? Each quiz must be completed in one session. Make sure you're finishing before exiting. If you don't pass, your results won't be displayed or shared with LinkedIn. So they'll keep it very private, but I'm being very open in terms of what my results are because I want to be transparent and just in case you guys will actually be able to see um, how this is going to work at this moment. So I'll be that guinea pig, all right? So let me go ahead and X this out. And let me show you my results if I can put up. So as you can see, JavaScript. I could take it in 85 um, days, okay? So I got 85 days left before I could take it. And I actually got I actually got nine correct and I missed, let me see, I got nine correct and I missed eight. What does that equal in my math? That's like 17 in total, 17 questions I think I had to answer. Um, so it was along those lines. Or I got nine correct and I missed six. That was it, I got nine correct and I missed six. Can I, would they let me see my results here? Yeah. Okay. I got eight correct and I got seven incorrect. All right. So I was very, I was even. So that just shows that I'm able to read and to be able to identify several things in JavaScript. I could write functions. I could write, you know, variables. I could attach those things to the actual tags in HTML um, as classes. Well, yeah, as classes, um, certain functionalities to perform within those tags, maybe on a button. But other than that, you know, I haven't had any reason to. I've been freelancing. I've been just doing whole websites and focusing on the website as a whole, not necessarily more so in a technical point. And I use a lot of word script. I mean, the word script. I use a lot of WordPress. So I'm just focusing on building an entire site for the client and thinking about and explaining the site, creating the site for my clients 
on a wholesome um, spectrum. So yeah, that's going to be pretty much it. Let's go ahead and just click done here and let's go back to the top. So that's going to be pretty much it for this video. Um, as you can see, I showed some result. It does help. It does bring some benefit, but I highly encourage anybody if you're trying to really boost, boost your career to the next level, then get on to these. If you're, especially if you're a programmer, if you're a, a software developer, um, web designer, developer, whatever type of coder you are, I highly recommend taking these LinkedIn assessments. Get those certifications, those badges next to your skills, get some endorsements more so, but more importantly, get some projects under your belt and showcase that. I would go ahead and show y'all my website, DLJ Works. Get you a whole brand going on. That's going to be the most important thing soon as this loads up here. All right, there we go. You can see that's the gears works. The gears are working. I just work. It works. I have a portfolio of works. Triple entendre for you. But yeah, anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you got any questions about LinkedIn and assessments, Please feel free to leave a comment below and yeah, subscribe to this mailing list that you see here. And I'm actually have another video talking about this mailing list. If you're a YouTuber, get that too, buddy. Have something for you on that as well. All right, that's enough. I talk too much. God bless y'all. See you in the next video.